Let's see what happens. That's full of liquid still, which is surprising. It feels quite light, so if it is empty, then obviously I take it away. There's no point giving them more. It's got some in it. No point giving them more stuff, more room to, to heat. I mean, to have it set there. I know they have got stores in it. Do you see the stores? So, what we're going to do. This on the bottom, that's empty in there, but they can use up where they want to this, can't they? And then some of them are empty, but Give them too much room to heat up in winter. They have too much energy. They need too much energy to use up. They use this up in no time anyway. I might just feed them over winter. There's not nothing in there really. It's okay. So I put this back in there. The bees are okay. You know they're okay in there. See them all. feed them. They probably didn't have this because it was too far away from the brood and it's been quite cold so I'm going to place this over the top here now. You know, feed on that. You. I think it's going to need <coughs> see them more feeding. So that's a good sign. So that's good. This lid is a very close fitting lid. I made it too too close. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Two done, So all these have to go. They like that it's really light. Right. Next one. Um Up as 
tour of it. Then I'll take this down at the moment, so they must be getting their food from somewhere else. Loads of stores in there. It's pretty real one. There's loads of bees in there, see? So, each two, each two. Pull them off. This is very, very heavy. That's good. The queen can't get through it. If they, in the winter, if the, if the flock of bees move about, they'll leave the queen behind so she could freeze or starve. So now the queen can go anywhere she wants to. In there. That's one done. I put it on the bottom because there was food in it. If it hasn't got food, I don't bother. touched again. So it could be because they can't get to it. Maybe. You see here there's just nothing, there's no stores there at all. So this was very simple, it's just this way. Tear that off. Over there, I can now still feed them direct over there, but they can probably get to it a lot more easily.
some on it. Yes, some. That's again what I do. So it's probably not even worth giving to my mouth, which is just beating my phone into again. Yeah, so this up. This one here is quite simple again. Just take off this. Yeah. Getting a little dead bees here this time of year, you do get a little dead bees. These haven't even been smoked. I just wonder what the pins are. These pins were for where the brood was in, in the springtime. Just help me to remember it from watching her. Thicker food source. I see how much they take down by the end of the week. And if it gets colder, I'll change it onto a fondant. They're more likely to take that. They're all done. Oh, okay. no, I've done it there, so I sit and really start taking the stuff here back to the car. So going into winter, I'm quite happy we've got five hives. If you can get through the winter, potentially it's going to be 10 if you tend to spend in the springtime but I might be moving some or we'll starting to get some more hives further down the track as well you see so I'll start planning for that for the winter um, but as it stands at the moment it's good they're all in there they're all eating they've all got food for now the box is all ready to be so what more could you ask for that's it really better tidy up mm -hmm.